Right, let's get cracking, Joe. It yep. is a huge game on Sky this weekend. Top v second as Man City take on Arsenal. And, of course, we've got a Man City fan and an Arsenal fan in the studio, so we thought we'd <laughs> this is gonna go well. instigate a bit of heated debate. Mm, yeah, this is going to go really, really well. Uh, <laughs> as you can see in front of us, we've got a 1 to 10. We're going to ask yeah. our guests to rank the top 10 Man City and Arsenal players. Mm. Now, they've each got their own top 10. There is not a lot of agreement on the top <laughs> so ten. It's a separate list for that. Basically, reason. it's separate list. They're each going to build out their separate list. We're going to have to go player by player because some Cecil's got and some Booby's got, mm. but they don't have the same list. Yes. Okay. Understood. Go player by player. Yes, let's do that. And importantly, we're doing this on ability rather than form. Yeah. A lot of the players haven't oh, played, so obviously. So you know, Rodri hasn't really kicked Rodri hasn't the ball. Played, obviously, season, Foden's not been there much. Erdegaard's injured. injured as well. So we'll do it on ability. So should we start with a player that you've got that? Boovy hasn't. Yeah, David Raya. Can reveal the first one. Yep, of course. Talk to me about David Raya and where you place him. In What's the that face about? <laughs> Boovy, 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 come on, come on now. Boovy's got his head in his hands. I want a taxi. Can I get a taxi out of here now? See, I mean, I booked one for eleven. <laughs> Wait, you Honestly, wouldn't have David Raya. He, I mean, he's had a fantastic start to the season. He's been quality. We're last talking season. top ten of all the players. The twenty-two for City, essentially. The twenty-two for yes. Arsenal. Forty odd players and David Boovy. Raya's top ten. Boovy, Boovy, Boovy. He was at all, all, all ten Edison, all seven Edison, years ago. All Edison is oh, good for a long time. He's, ago. Listen, he, he's, he's a Edison's a ball playing goalkeeper. Fair enough. He's good with his feet. Yeah. But I want to keep it as good with his hands, and that is David Raya. We saw it in midweek as well. Great double, great save. double save. Yeah. Unbelievable. He's had 14 saves already so far. Big saves in the season so far. Um, three clean sheets, and yeah, he won the save of the month. David Raya is quite. He's good at shot stopping, and he's very key to Arsenal's play. And I know you're going to say Edison, if you. But I'm sorry. I'm a better keeper than Edison. I've not put Edison in my list. It's just to confirm, you haven't got a goalie from either team in your top. No, I don't think Edison's the best in the world. David Raya's barely top five in the Premier League. I think he's fantastic. What, 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 you, top what top are you talking, Booby? What not, are you talking about? He's not. No not way. top five in the league. He wasn't play at PFA team of the team of the season. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's just of an course. argument. He's not even world class yet. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah, not fair yet. To but put him in top ten of all total players for both sides. Come Where on. have you got him in your ten? I've got him ninth. Okay. The eyes on Booby. Uh, so Booby's not got Ryan, he's not got Edison, interestingly. So do we go to a yeah. player that you've got that Cecil doesn't? But Cecil, have you not got Bernardo Silva no. in your 10? This is this is a massive quality oversight. football. Why? He is a quality footballer, I must say. But, <laughs> but, do you watch uh, football? But, no, of course I do. Quality footballer, Mikel Arte also mentions how, how, how much of a genius he is on the ball. But for me, listen, I've gone with players that I would swap out for my Arsenal, my Arsenal players and... I'm sorry, he doesn't make it. Bernardo Silva would be the most important player in Arsenal's uh, last 20 year history since Dennis Bergkamp. <laughs> he's that good. He's a treble winner. He's he's unbelievable. He's better than Martin Odegaard. He's, 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 he'd be the best player at Arsenal Football Club, no question about it. I've put him. I've Where have you put him? him? I put him fifth. I mean, he, fifth. he can play right wing. So after World all Cup that talk, you've put him fifth in, in, in number 10. Yeah, you put him in fifth and he boosts him up that That's high. That's a good city and... at the moment. Oh, get out of here. Go on, then. I'll put it in, yeah. So you've got him fifth. You haven't, haven't even got, got, got Bernardo Silva. I'm surprised at that. Quality footballer, but. <laughs> I've got, I've got, so we've would, got quality. We've would got Bernardo Silva start for Arsenal? Yeah, currently he would. He probably would, but I'm sorry. But I, no, I wouldn't swap him for any player that I have in my team, though. Wow. So that's that's it. But he's a good player. So another player that you've got. The Boovey doesn't have a tool in his 10. Up next, who's that? It's Ben White. Ben White, good player. I've heard it on, on record as well, Booby, by the way. You've said he's a Rolls Royce, so you don't hear the engine. You like, you like Ben White, I like Ben White. I think he's been solid. I don't think he gets you know, the credit that he deserves. Even his, um, oh God, for say the word, I was gonna say, I can't really say it. The dark art, shall we say, that he brings into the game as well. Yeah. I think he's a quality footballer. He's underrated as well for his ball playing ability as well. I think people forget that. Defending wise, he's resolutely sound, perfect. But also on the ball, the way he links up with Saka and he helps doing the overlaps. He's a quality footballer. Ben White had to be on my list. He's so important. Do you know what I like what he did there on his debut? He Quoted you about yeah. Yeah. and that's very good. This week very he said that. Do you, do you think Ben White would start for City? Yeah, yeah, now, now, 100% yes, now. Listen, that's not to take away what Carl Walker's. Listen, yeah. Carl Walker's one of the best right backs in, in, in that Premier League's ever seen, but yeah. right now, Ben White would. would and, but we're not doing a combined 11, and, and you could argue Ben White still hasn't achieved. He's basically won zero trophies. We can't do the achievement stuff, yeah, but we're doing though. top we 10. This is about, achievement stuff. Yeah, but top 10 lists always come with records and achievements, and ultimately Arsenal have won nothing since the COVID. But this cup. is it's skewed then if we do that. If we do achievement stuff, we're doing about footballer, and Ben White right now, like you said, would start for your side. You yeah. even admitted it. So let's do He's a combined 11, not top 10. He's not, is he world class? He's on the way to being world class. He's going on. So he's 10 for you. So he's 10. So just to be clear here, Cecil's going to build his side on the right. Yes. Booby's going to build Correct. his on the left. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to work out. All the red ones will be on the right. <laughs> the blue ones will be on the left, in case you don't know. <laughs> OK, Booby, who's next? Is it Blue Magnet? It is. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, it has to be John, John Stone. I, th I think... You don't have him. 
Of course not. Oh, it's centre back. It's a guy centre back pairing. We're not going to have John Stones. The issue when we debate any anything around John Stones is the amount of minutes that he misses mm, yeah. for injury. Yep. When he plays, sixteen he's... Premier League appearances last season, twelve starts. Obviously he had issues with his hip, muscle, uh, ankle injuries, didn't he? So yeah. it, it's unfortunate with injuries. Yeah, but it's a bit like Ledley King at Spurs in terms of what, what, what you saw, what, what you saw from Ledley King <laughs> when he was playing. Obviously different <laughs> cent, uh, kind of centre backs. Yeah, definitely. I'm different. seeing this guy run midfield against Inter Milan in the Champions League final. I don't think there's an Arsenal player that could do that in, in the back line. Obviously, Saliba, Gabriel's availability is a massive plus. So I, I get maybe my, my shouts are stretched, but I think he's world class on his Where day. do you think he, you've mentioned Gabriel Saliba? Obviously, unbelievable partnership. Everyone can admit that. Where does he rank fully fit then amongst the likes of Gabriel and Saliba, would you say? Mile, uh, miles mm. above Gabriel, and you could debate Saliba. I think he's better than Saliba. But, but it, obviously, we can have a debate it's about all of the tactics for me. You're taking it. In, you, come what on. What do you think of that? He's, miles he's, above. He's, 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 he's chatting he's absolute rubbish. To, total uh, quality on the ball is far better. Uh, defensively, he's outrageously good. He's been part of some of the best defences in Premier League history. And part of best defences, but people the... ignore the history. And it's so frustrating as a City fan because people ignore the history. This guy's won six Premier League titles. He's won a hey. Champions League. Why are we throwing this guy's record out just because Saliba's had a couple of good? Is he a better defender than Saliba? Yes. Is he a better defender than Saliba? Is he a better defender than Saliba? Yeah, he is off the ball. Of course, well, we is. had the best defensive record uh, last season. You know, you know this. Is... So it can't be that good. Of course, it's good. He came second. Great. So of we're praising this good. He came second for 89 <laughs> points. He made a Stone's just about it. Like you mentioned, he plays into the midfield. Cool. He's a defender. Defender. He's not a better defender he than Steve or Gabriel. A, he, he's a centre back for a side that got 100. Where have you got him? Really, uh, Where have you got him, Booth? He's right up there for me, lads. Eight. <laughs> 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 right, it's not that good. Right, it's not that good. Just be clear as well. <laughs> just be clear it's not that good. This is meant to be. This is ridiculous. Combined list. This so yeah, is not you just picking City players and you just picking. Wait Arsenal to see what have Saliba. Wait to see what have Saliba. Where Arsenal on earth? Are where are you, the first City player going to come up for you? I'm, I'm yes. interested. But you've got Rice next, and you haven't got Rice in your ten. Uh, Boovy. When you cut to him, Declan Rice. Speak. Declan Rice. Why have you not got Declan Rice? <laughs> Why have you not got Declan Rice on your side? Let's just do that first, because Bernardo Silva, cool, fair enough, quality player. But Declan Rice has been unbelievable, unbelievable footballer. And you notice, you watch Rodri, who's also unbelievable in this position. You, you should be able to recognise a quality player like Declan Rice. I'm surprised you haven't got Declan Rice. Yeah, me too. So. I watched, did you watch England in the summer? He couldn't progress the ball through midfield. Well, is that what you want to do? You're Gareth Barry 2.0, okay. and I love Gareth Barry. Declan Rice has not dominated a midfield in the Champions League level like Rodri has against Real Madrid, against Bayern Munich, against England in the final of the Euros. Declan Rice's tournament was absolutely shocking. And it's, it might be Gareth Southgate issue, it might be other, other tactical issues. So you're taking Declan England Rice into account here. Right? But for, 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 for Arsenal, has, he has not put a foot wrong, has he, he signing? Nobody even talks about his price tag. You wanted him. him! Yeah. You wanted him! Well, we wanted Harry Maguire, they came oh. along and spent 80 million quid on him and, and we, um, we got price out of the market. He's not, he wasn't worth 100 where, So where have you got Rice? I've got Declan Rice in number eight for me. Mm, okay. It's actually it's probably pretty low, but and you've Declan got, Rice is We're really still good. on players that you don't agree on. So go on, yeah. you're the next player that... This is a rogue one, I think. This one's easy. Like to him. This one's easy. Uh, he, he, I think 18 goals and assists for Barcelona last season. Obviously, mm. people say that it didn't quite work at Barcelona. I think that's fair. Season before, he's, he's scoring huge goals in a treble winning campaign. Yeah. Good for Germany even though it lasted a relatively short time in the Euros. He's still a world-class midfielder and we signed him for free. It's genius transfer strategy again for Man City. First player signed twice by does Pep, he, by the way. Does he start in your best team? Yeah, 100%. Really? Really? Yeah, you'll find out in the business end of the season. Really? Yeah, when we're steamrolling sides every week. I had to, I'm surprised that there's like oh, a neutral yeah. in this situation that you say he would start in your best 11. So you haven't got Declan Rice, but you've got, you've got Gundogan. Yeah, this guy's won a treble. <laughs> your, your guy's won the Conference League. I mean, with all due respect, there are levels to this game. We have to be honest. It wasn't the Conference League. It was, oh, it was the Conference League. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam, was I, the, I, to be fair, I do think that's a, a very shrewd signing from a, from a transfer perspective because you're not... It's not loads of money, like we said, if you're talking about, you know, the value and what he brings. Last season, he was unbelievable. Most chances created, highest expected assists in La Liga. What he does off the pitch as well, I think it's a fair some big chances signing. recently, though. Okay. Gundogan, he missed some big chances for City. in the season. I was where, it's early, now it's early Where have you got Gundogan? Where have you got uh, Gundogan? I put him in seventh. So, right. as we as right. we said earlier, Boovy's on the left, Cecil's on the right. Yeah. As you can tell, because <laughs> yeah. at the moment, it's all City and Arsenal. Right, Cecil, next player that you've got. Gabriel Magalhães. Another player you don't have, Boo. Which is crazy. Where do I put him? What do you want? 40? Uh, what, 40 <laughs> selections? How many selections? <laughs> is, it, it, is he not right Creme now the best... Is he, not, is he right now not the best centre-back in the league? Who? Gabriel, Gabriel Magalhães. 
Come Mate. on, he's scoring goals, Mate. he's defending, he's, he's locking people off. He kept your guy quiet. 0.0% um, XG as well in, when we play against you. Gabriel Magalhães is You're a hard finish above Gabriel last season. Oh, but if we can... OK, but as a player, we can defend. He's, he's, a, he's part of the best defence record um, partnership. Gabriel Magalhães has been sensational, especially the start of the season. There was questions about him at the start of last season. He came in and he's just been resolute ever since. What about his errors? He's he does make a few errors. That is fair to say. He, has, no, he, he has... can be a bit error-prone. Is that fair to say? It used to be. They used to, they used to, they used to label it, but nowadays you can't really say that. He's an absolute solid defender. You're going to see it on Sunday anyway, but Gabriel Magalhães is unbe unbelievable. That narrative, by the way, is ridiculous, saying we parked the bus. When you came to our place last season, what did you guys do? Actually, you lost, but what did, you, did you go for it? <laughs> Hopefully you did. I think you had, we had 12 first. shots, you had, you had four. <laughs> this whole narrative of you parked the bus, you better make sure you turn up Sunday, because you've got to give your fans... <laughs> oh, because wow. you've got to give your fans a show. They're upset, you're putting the prices up, you barely fill the stadium. Make sure they turn up Sunday. Yeah? Right, Gabriel well, Magalhães, go in in sick for me. Also, top scoring defender nice. in the Premier League since exactly. the start of 2021 as well. Another aspect of his game, 16 goals. So, But not for Boovy. Not for Boovy. You've got a different um, centre-back. Th this is the thing with Arsenal fans. I, I, I love the fact that you love your club again. It's been 20 years since you've had any success in terms of winning the Premier League title. This guy, I mean, this guy's won more Premier League titles than Arsenal in the last four years in their entire history. Wow. Uh, since he's come to the Premier League... Yeah, he's won every Fika, Premier League. He's never not won yeah, the fair. Premier League, lads. Fair. He's never yeah. not won the fair. Premier League. Uh, I've never seen anything like it in terms of defensive positioning, his yeah. awareness, and he's great on the ball as well. He's a leader. He might be the best centre-back at the club since Vincent Company. He might surpass yeah. that guy's record as well, Company's record as well. So Not better Saliba, though, but anyway. Okay. I, think, I, I really think he is, lads. Like... You know, Ruben Diaz has lost 11 of 121 career Premier League appearances. Incredible. It's ridiculous. So you must have him high. Where have you got him? Yeah, yeah I've, put in, I've put him in six. OK, okay. So him and Gabriel, level. No agreement right. still. By the way, still the, not got an agreement. Two, he has <coughs> two, play, two players no. I love. Can you do these individually? Because I cannot believe... I can't believe these two are not in there. You have both of them in both your lists. These lists stink. I yeah, can't believe these two aren't in there. Both of you get an attack. How, Wait, so, how have you got? How oh, have sorry, you Sorry. How? So you've got... Just remember, I've got, I've Marcel Odegaard, fantastic player, you Phil Foden. You don't have Phil Foden no. on ability in the top ten. Ability wise, Despite the fact he was the player of the season in the Premier League last season. Ability, a player, yeah, you're right, he was player of the season. <laughs> ability wise, but we can go to what you said about Declan Rice for England. So I can do the same for Foden. He's not as versatile as the players that I believe, like I was talking about Bukai Saka. Even, even Martin Odegaard, I think, is a better player than um, Phil Foden quality wise. I just think Phil Foden, good player, done well in the, in the Premier League last season, fair enough. But for England, what did he do? Did well, he, he won he was, PFA player of the year? Yes, I get that. But for Best England, player. what did he do? Look, what, did he do for, what did he do? Did he do PFA player you, of the year? Mahrez, Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale. Uh, Ginola, some mm. unbelievable <laughs> Cantona, these guys. And, PF, uh, and PFA Player of the Year is a symbolic award. I, I, fair enough, maybe you prefer Odegaard in your system. Yeah, I Odin do. is better than Odegaard in every aspect of his game. Better goal to game ratio, better at controlling a game. He's won the Champions League, playing in midfield, controlling a game of football. Odegaard is yet to do that. He's got a very high ceiling, but player. he's yet to prove it to us. As we're sat here in the studio, you, you know, your boy's still, you know, not won anything since he's come to Arsenal. Foden's a quality player, but like I said, I bring it back to England. Like you said about Declan Rice, you said this. Look, he was he was suffering there in England. Same with Foden. What was yeah, he course, doing? What did he do? What did he do for England? Like, so out, out, out of a Pep season, yeah. out, sorry, out of a Pep system, he's he's not he's not. You haven't seen him be a good player. He thrives under a Pep system. These players are, are versatile. Well, the quality Moore system. Declan Rice has won zero trophies at Arsenal. I mean, it's all it's all relative. But he's <laughs> proven it at club level. If you win FA Cups, Champions Leagues. This guy's won six Premier League titles. Youngest player to win six Premier League titles in history. Boof, boof. How, so you've got Foden in that. Why have you not oh, got okay. Erdegaard in your top I ten? can't believe these two aren't in both lists. Captain, leader. I've gone with pure quality, pure uh, record in the game, and Odegaard's got a high ceiling. He's still one for the future. If we were doing futures talents, where, when he'll probably go to Real Madrid, a bigger club, but a bigger But do you not think he's one of the best attacking mids in the league? Well, the quality of he's player, the player, he's top Boofy. five. Boofy. He wouldn't start for City. Would he start for Real Madrid or Man City? Be honest. Be honest. Would he start for Real Madrid? I think, yeah, I think there's chances he would start for City. Yeah. yeah, City could get Over in there. Who? Well, you rotate so much. That there's lots of Odegaard options would get start in there. Come on, Booby. If we're talking about quality of player, start over Foden. Quality Bernardo, of player. The that way he passes fast. the ball, the way he, he presses, everything. Fantastic. He's unbelievable on the ball. Yeah. If we're talking about quality of class. player, all right. Where, where, have, you, where have you got Odegaard? Odegaard is fifth for me. Okay, and where have you got Phil Foden? Top four. PFA. Top Foden, four. Yeah, okay. On. Wow. I now think, we're going to start coming through some agreements. I think this is the first player that you agree on. So can you both reveal in the camera that you both got? 
Kakaya Saka. Thank the Lord you've yeah, both got Kakaya in there. And where just have... to clarify at the moment, you haven't got a single player on the board <laughs> from the opposing side. Uvi's about to be the first person. Uvi's about so to be the first Where have you both person. got him? Let's stick him up and see if, it, see if they match. Me. Yeah. I, do you want to go first? Go on. Kakaya Saka's number two. He's one of the most important players. Uvi, where have you got It's not about how important they are to your side. It's about how good they are in the echelons of both squads competing. Uvi, where have you got him? <laughs> so, You're so, that's so disrespectful. So even when you agree, that is so the positioning is... Uh, if Bukayo Saka would walk into your side and he's an unbelievable... No. Yes, he would. Booby, stop being silly. I don't know. Stop being silly here. Silly. Bukai... Ten. Tenth, Bukayo Saka. It's top ten, that's not bad. Do you know how many players these guys have got in the squad? But Bukayo Saka, quality of play, his decision-making, the maturity of his play, come on, how good he is on the ball. You have, you've seen it for England, you've seen it for Arsenal. Steve, Steve, how have you not seen it? You haven't it's seen it. Long, this is, that is Steve. ridiculous. Left back was a long time ago. Steve. The Covid Cup was a long time ago. Steve. The versatility <laughs> of the man alone, like, you've seen yeah, him. He's got, yeah, that's why he should have been at left. He's left back for England a few games, right and back. And thrives in every position. He's not even the best right winger in the league. Salah is. So, uh, what, what, what do you want me to say? The second best right winger in the league potentially, would definitely start for you. Yeah, and would it be and has they used to be in second Consistently there? performed to one of the best levels that's, that's, in the league over the last two to three yeah. years. 16, 16 goals, nine assists in the Premier League last season. season. Yeah. Next up, KDB. Now, will there be an agreement? Can we finally get an agreement on a position? Where have you, let's put him up. Where have you both okay. got KDB? I like KDB. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have him in your team. Yeah. Second top assistant of Premier League ever. He is yeah. unbelievable. He's, 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 he's an a, agreement. He's a magician. Wow, there's the an board. agreement. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well done. There we well go. done. Quality player, and I'll, I'll admit to that. Where, where does he rank for you in terms of greatest ever midfielders in Premier League history? <sighs> great question. I, I, there's an argument to say he's number one. I know there's people talk about the Gerrards, the Lampards, the Skulls and all that, but... For, for what I see, the quality of player, what he does for his team, when he, he can just switch on as well. He's one of those players that can grab the game by the scruff of the neck. He's got titles and everything to back it as well. He's, he's a big game player. I think Kevin De Bruyne, and a sensational player to watch. I know, listen, not a City fan, but he is a, he's a magician. I, I think he's quality. 113 Premier League assists, mm. second in the all-time list. His game understanding is a joke. Unreal. I think he's top five midfielders in the history of the league, but somehow he's below BTEC Aaron Lennon. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't get That's it. That's the most ridiculous statement I've no, ever I heard you it. make. I don't get but it. But is level that, right now is absolutely that is. outrageous. Is total what you actually was that statement, Booth? You make me sick. Honestly, I'm going to call you a taxi. A B-Tech Aaron Lennon. But, but Saka's a better player than De Bruyne, is he? Come on, you talk, we do fo we talk yeah, football. Yeah. Let's go to the next player, because this one I think is truly interesting. OK. Ireland. Let's put him up. Let's see where you've got early. gone there. No, you're on there. Oh, no. Seven. <laughs> he scored nine Premier League goals this season. He scored more goals than any other Premier League team. So this is no team. He's seven. He's no on the one. Who's where have you got him? He's seven. <laughs> what, come on. Can you just... No. <laughs> what? All right, listen, Surely Harland's listen, got seven. Listen, Harland, overall foot, listen, he's a good goal scorer, but... You know, when it comes to versatility for me of, of goals at times, I just think he's not got the full package. I'm you know you're like. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 like. As you explained it, you were laughing at your own. I know. Reasoning. I know. Harlan's in, listen, he's in the top ten. Okay, be be happy for that. He's in the top ten. He's a quality player. <laughs> Be happy I've chosen that. You just call Bukayo Saka B Tech Aaron Lennon. I need to call my therapist the way it's going. Like, honestly, your thoughts just, on Harlan? Is, no, no, Erlen Harlan's a great quality goal scorer. Oh, Harlan's arguably the greatest goal scorer in the history of the Premier League already. Only three seasons in. His goal to game ratio, we've no, never seen anything like it. Uh, I think it's hugely disrespectful to the football, footballing establishment. He's so low. <laughs> Got Rory Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> really is. All right, next player. Bit of agreement again, but clearly a positional yeah. disagreement. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is, uh, he is... But if I'm noticing, that, uh, I presume you're going to put him in nine, He's you? not going to put him in nine. He's going to put him in nine. He's going to put him in nine. Well, we're missing a big, a big Spanish lad we've not talked about yet. Mm -hmm. So you've got him at... Put him up. Yeah, I've put him in. And you've got him at... Number one. Number one. <laughs> but to be fair, this for me is just as unbelievable for the Erlen Haaland's at seven, him at nine for... for are you joking? William Saliba, he's probably one of our most important players. He's an incredible <clears> centre-back. Again, another player, you mentioned how good Ben White is, but Saliba you'd have in your side as well. Is Saliba sure. better than Haaland, De Bruyne, Phil Foden and Rodri? Be honest. Be honest, please. <laughs> William Saliba no, stops no, 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 Erlen Haaland. 0.0 okay, XG, he stops him. <laughs> Erlen Haaland is baby food Is Saliba, Saliba better than Rodri? Oh, Erling no, but, uh, baby. So that's getting clipped. Know, Erling Haaland is baby food for Saliba. He is. That's getting clipped. Is. Oh, the day before the game. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, no, of course. You look pretty sharp. Saliba's <laughs> unbelievable. Shot. He's the most important player um, for us, like what? I mentioned as well. We've seen him go down. One thing I'm going to point out, Boob, is that you haven't got a single Arsenal player in your top eight. 
Yeah, because all these guys are world class. They're performing at international slash Champions League level. And Arsenal just about got back into the Champions League for the first time in many, many years. They got absolutely uh, bullied by Bayern Munich last season. I've yet to see Arsenal win any European silverware. All these lads have got European pedigree. And that leaves our last player. Mm. Rodri. Rodri. Speaking of European pedigree, a man linked to the Ballon d'Or. So one and four, is it? We can Self. stick him up and then Self we'll have a debate. Player. Quality player. He is a quality player. Yeah. He's a quality player. Like he said mention, he mentioned what you mentioned, but um, Smithy there, Ballon d'Or could be a, could be a Ballon d'Or winner by it once once decided. Do you think he will win it, the Ballon d'Or? I think he should. I think he's underrated. I think he's not underrated because he's such a good player, but people don't speak about him enough. I think people forget how. Should good. he win the Ballon d'Or? I'm going to say, yeah. So you would have him as Ballon d'Or winner? But not on the first. I know. <laughs> you <laughs> killed him with that question. Like, he killed me. That was a stitch-up question. I know it was. I know it was. I know it was. <laughs> listen, Rodri's a quality player. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be tribal and go with my Arsenal players. That's why, the, yeah, yeah, the, no, fair the, that's why I'm, it's, it's set up like this. But, but listen, Rodri is quality. And in that position as well, it gets unnoticed how good these players are. That's why I mentioned even Declan Rice at times when he plays for us. You can see the quality. And I watched that position. Yeah. Rodri's probably he's the best at it. Props he's to Saliba as well, you've got his number one. Arsenal have his two four games with him. 1.6 points per game without him. He's a huge player for Arsenal, William yeah. Saliba, and obviously their defensive record is unbelievable. What a but list. Rodri, for you, it probably makes sense. One, considering he is the, the out of these 20 players that you've got on, Honestly, the one that is linked with the Ballon d'Or, so does that make sense for you? Football's a game of opinions. We can debate everyone except mm. number one. Rodri is so far above any other player in his position in world football. I've never seen anything like it, really. I think he's a generational talent, once in a 20-year kind of talent. He's unbelievable. And he has to be, and every football fan's number one. He has to be. He's that good. All right. Okay. I mean, that is a tribal list, isn't Very it? Tribal. I can see the comments now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's, let us know what you think of that. Uh, respect the tribalism, though. You know, they're bigging up their own clubs. But that is the uh, confirmation of their top ten. Let us know what you think of that at home.